Hey guys, so what's going on? Welcome back to Crossroads and Shore 1. My name is Chris, and today joining me we have... Keelan. And we're going to be watching a little bit of Kenneth Murray with the guys today. He is a linebacker from Oklahoma. And we just got his official mission missing today, which is fantastic. Uh, at the Combine, of course. Listed at 6'2 and a half, which is pretty good height. 241, which is not perfect weight, but still close enough. Uh, nine and a half inch hands, 32 and three quarter inch arms, and 80 inch wingspan, which is pretty good. I believe that's one of the highest in the class, uh, along with, of course, Isaiah Simmons, who's an absolute machine. Uh, so, today we're going to go over three games with the guys today. The LSU game, the first Baylor game, and Texas Tech, I believe, was the games you said you hadn't watched yet. Yeah, that's correct. Well, so, a little bit of background here on Murray for you guys who are unfamiliar. Uh, yeah, he had a determined with the rare football character. That's actually pretty cool. I not know that happened. Uh, so, you ready to get started? Let's go. Now, you said you have seen Murray, so while we're waiting uh -huh. for this video to load, uh, what are the things that we should be looking for for those of us who have not watched it by him yet? I love him. He's one of my favorite guys in the class. I like how he just takes over the game in the middle. He's just he's, he's really good against the run. He can cover. He can he stretches the field both sideline to sideline and end zone to end zone. He's just he's terrific at what he does. Cool. So you really want to focus on his athleticism, man. He did. He tested pretty well before he pulled the hammy. He did had a nice forty time, and then on his second run, he pulled his or did something to his. What well, I'm hammy. talking about on tape. You said one of the things they stuck out on tape was his athletic ability. Yes. Cool. So that'll be something for us to look for, especially against the relatively spread type of offense in LSU. Uh, Joe Burrow pretty seen in competition, so this should be really nice. This was the semifinal game of Peach Bowl as well, uh, so I believe this is the last game he played. Nice patience in that coverage. I like his break here. He does a really nice job with his first step. He's keeping those this active feet footwork and coverage, and then he explodes right out of that with a nice quick first step. Okay, nice downhill burst. Nice transitional coverage. Especially in third and short. And yeah, again, like you were talking about, I really, really like his athleticism. On this play, again, it shows, I just talked about this. Watch the way he's able to kind of take this first step out and then break. Blitz. Shed. Oh, okay. So a little bit more improvement goes past rusher I want to see. Okay. Nice gap discipline. I like to see that. This is really nice show of staying patient. Rings the play, keeps his eyes in the backfield, avoids the traffic. And makes Nice tackle, brings him to the ground. Okay, man coverage on the running back, nice to see that. Has that kind of coverage versatility, which is obviously very helpful. Nice gap shoot. Blitz play. 
you see the wrong? Nope, he took that. So, that goes the DT. This patience is the force on this play. Reads this keeper, or I mean, reads this run, uh, but plays the keeper just in case Burrow decides to. Good high IQ play. Nice. Okay, I like the way he starts this play. He has a really nice first two phases. You really get to see him read and diagnose here, which is nice. And then you get to see the second phase where he's able to kind of cut off and then attack downhill. Just unfortunate that the coverage guy behind him wasn't able to help out. Spy, yep. There you go. Oh, okay. I'd like to see a little bit more in terms of hands when he strikes blocks. Obviously, I ended up working out there, but uh, not necessarily going to be the case when he gets to the NFL. It was a nice tackle and hit, too. Very nice disguise look. Spy. Oh, love the pursuit speed. I like how it kind of stays disciplined in this spy look too. I don't know if it's a spy or contained, but he does a really nice job of staying patient. And then as soon as Burrow starts running out is when he pursues. That was one of the best plays in college season last year though. <coughs> if he didn't lose his footing there, that could have easily been a sack. Nice thing to use these uh, hard coverage. Nice ability to go hand in hand with the offense or with the tight end, which is good. He's doing a pretty nice job of uh, getting around the blocks. I haven't really seen a whole lot in terms of shedding yet, but he's using his athleticism to kind of get around the block, which is helping him out uh, with his playmaking. Nice. nice. Good green diagnosis. Nice change of direction here too. Redirecting from left to right. Okay, back to the main coverage on the back. So he definitely has coverage versatility as well, which is nice. Shed? Yep. Oh. Well, I see a little bit more activity level with the hand in the sheds. And he used to do a little bit better job of recognizing and maintaining leverage, too. He's trying to get outside when the back has the hold of the inside lane, which ends up hurting him. Oof. 
same thing. I really want to see a little bit more block shooting. I don't know if he's supposed to be a block ear, but if you have a linebacker in a block ear role, you probably should adjust something. Uh, he should be one of your attacking players, not one of your roaming players, not one of your block ears. Okay. I like that man coverage on the back again. Just doing really, really well in coverage so far. It's just I really want to see some improvement in that block shooting run defense. A little bit better, but still not great. And it was against the tight end. And he had help. just kind of lost the guy behind him. Yeah, he sees him too. I don't know if that was zone. But. So yeah, when he's kept clean, he's done a really, really nice job of finding and locating and diagnosing the play. Making the tackle in open space. He's just not able to put himself in those types of situations. That was the direction. Going from pedal to drive. Okay. Yeah, he's doing a really nice job of uh, getting out on those swings, which is good. Like the ability to hard cover those tight ends. So yeah, he's doing pretty well across the board so far in coverage. There's a stunt. I've been waiting for it. Really nicely job really nicely done here by the defensive lineman. And you really get to see that athleticism playing. You'll see the pursuit speed here as well. So yeah, he has the ability to be a factor as a pass rusher when schemed, but you're not really going to use him as like your typical edge guy. He doesn't really have the pass rush moves, and he definitely doesn't have the shedding ability just yet that you really want to see from your... from, say, a jack linebacker. Okay, it's not on him. That was better. I don't know if he necessarily shed all that well, but he didn't really have shed of getting through the block. Right, a little bit more work on the anchor. Okay, missed tackle, rare occurrence, it seems like in previous experiences he's shown pretty good tackling so far, so I won't really do him too much for that. Okay, missed patience in zone. Nice gap attack there. He's definitely doing a great job with the mental aspects. Same thing, right idea, just... It looked like his path kind of got blocked a little bit. Again, same thing, because they're not really using him as a block 
eager. He kind of has to shoot those gaps specifically as a pass rusher. So you're kind of limited a little bit uh, from a pass rushing perspective. Yep, there you go. He's just not able to beat the block. Oh, yep. Okay. Same thing that Devin Bush struggled with last year, those cup blocks. Like, oh, it's like the wrong leverage. Yep, see, he's lined up to the outside here. And that just leaves the inside gap wide open. Oh. And part of that is his lack of shutting. Nice tackle, and again, good read diagnostic ability there. Random question, but did Burrow get hurt, or did they just put the backup? They put the backup in because they were winning by so much late in the fourth. Oh, fair. And it was pretty clear by this point in the game that else or that Oklahoma had given up, specifically on mm -hmm. offense. So overall, your thoughts on Kenneth Murray's first game results? Here. Um, pretty pretty much what I thought and what I saw. In the past games, I really like his athleticism and his coverage upside. I did notice that he struggled to get off blocks and to rush the passer. And that's one of the things I noticed in the other games I watched, and it's what I noticed here against LSU. So far, if you're a Lions fan looking for a linebacker, probably not your best bet. <laughs> <laughs> Can you just say that right off the top? But if you're a Raider fan, perhaps maybe you missed out on Isaiah Simmons because the line's taken instead. <laughs> okay, yeah, again, this nice gap. Uh, interesting. Shooting. Okay, that was better. Went to the wrong side again. We probably should have won that outside, but at least he was able to get out the block. Okay, I just have to be free. Nice. I like that delayed rush move. Same thing, nice to lay rush. Okay, nice cap integrity against that inside run. Good diagnostics on this play. Something that you're we're seeing pretty often from him so far. Just does a really nice job of bringing that roll out, playing attacking, uh, bringing back. Okay. 
There's the force work. I like how I stay tight there too. It's really good positioning. He's playing that real tight, and I like that because he's able to keep himself free, but still making impact on the inside run uh, or the outside by getting outside because he knows he has the pursuit speed to keep up with the QB. It's a great play. Or you can just backside pursue, which is good too. Nice. Nice, nice tackling. Delay rush? Nope, coverage. Spy of some kind. Getting this show, getting out in the flat. I like him in man against these running backs and tight ends. Yeah, now I pass for sure. Good ring diagnostics. That might be a horse collar, but uh, he's shoving outside. Sideline, sideline. It's probably about as good as you're going to be able to get. Nice gap read there. Able to penetrate too. He's, he's pretty solid run defender when he's kept free. Yeah, oh, you can't go lean in with the shoulder. You have to maintain that leverage. That was nice, though. And yeah, you got to really see his ability to die. You can read these plays. He has a nice job of getting around the end. Okay, yeah, running back. I can't really give him too much credit for that. That was nice. Again, just really nice coverage on the back. He's been really solid there and against the tight ends so far for the most part. Nice tackling for him as well. Very reliable tackler outside the one miss earlier. Move, yep. Okay. Coming to the back again. Probably his best area so far is that main coverage. Against your backs and tight ends. But he also has the potential to drop in zone, which is nice too. We've seen that a lot. 
also has that spy potential too if we need to chase down a mobile quarterback. That time he got a little bit out of position. It's the first time we've really seen him over uh, over pursue. He gets a little far outside and loses that inside run open for Michael Hasty. And at this point in the play, he's beat. That hasn't happened very often, though, for the most part. He's been pretty good in that particular area. Yeah, because he tries to, he's caught too far. He's not able to cut back underneath. Delay rush? Nope, just spy. Nice coverage by time. <laughs> Zoom trap. Downhill. Nice. Good gap shoot. Aye, aye, aye. Okay. Nice. Good gap shoot again. I'm just getting underneath inside that block. Do something other than stand there. Get off. Okay. It's a little bit too long for my taste, but... Oh. He kind of got stuck on there for a good few seconds. Until I finally was able to get outside. So, yeah, your primary thing that you're going to have to work with him on when you get him in the NFL coaching staff is what he does once someone uh, has his pads. Because he seems to be pretty fluid in coverage. Seems to have a pretty good understanding between me and zone. He's done really well with the spies. He has the athleticism. There's great motor play. So he has all those types of traits as well. Not really too concerned about anything like that. Ooh. There you go. Do you want to watch the third game? Um, if you want to, it's up to you. I mean, I've already that's... seen the other Baylor game and uh, Texas game myself. Okay, so... I think we're good because that that'd be like that's I think four or five for me. I can't remember. Cool. So here we go. Uh, I watched the. Actually, it'll be LSU. 19. Whoa. And then Baylor. 19. And the other Baylor. 19. So. Uh, awareness and play recognition is the first one. 
place can be a 10. Love him there. I definitely did a great job of diagnosing and putting himself in and reading the right plays that I said to the next one. Uh, reading plays while making the, the correct decisions, uh, going to where the ball was, things like that. So really like his knowledge of where he is on the field, all that good stuff. Positioning gap discipline is a 9. Not exactly perfect, but uh, he did do pretty well with that for the most part. Uh, using a variety of different positions, so pretty much so staying in position. Uh, and his gap discipline when he was not engaged was pretty solid. So tackling is going to be a ten. Loved his tackling form, very consistent there. One missed tackle is not bad, especially over three or four games. Uh, so definitely don't have any issues with him in that particular area. Watching is a five. Did not like his watching at all. Uh, easily the worst area of his game for sure. Uh, just really needs to work on the hand usage, really needs to work on staying active through the block, really needs to work on driving blocks, needs to work on his anchor, uh, and, and not getting driven back through blocks, so, yeah, you really need to keep him free or he will struggle heavily. Uh, athleticism is nine, not perfect like Isaiah Simmons, but still very, very good. Uh, zone coverage is, is a. I don't want to go with a nine or with a ten. I'm gonna go with a nine. Uh, very solid zone. Probably could use a little bit more reps in terms of deep drops. Uh, I didn't really get to see him too much in. Uh, I forget which one. Rubber lurk. Hook zones. I'll just call it hook zone. A lot of his zone coverages were more shallow. Man coverage will be a 10. I did really, really love his ability. Actually, I should probably change that for Simmons, too. Uh, but I really like his ability to man up those ring backs, man up the tight ends. Didn't really, get, again, get get to see him too much on the deep reps, but I feel really comfortable with him enough in the short to intermediate range to give him a 10 there. Pass rushing is a 7. Uh, like his pass rushing, upside in, on the stunts, uh, on blitz plays, and gap shooting situations. Oh, I'm a little going here for that. Uh, in gap shooting situations, but you don't really get to see him with any moves. You don't really get to see him free himself from blocks or anything like that, uh, which kind of limits him in terms of floor uh, in that particular area. Versatility is solid. Plays, uh, I think he has the upside and will micro air Sam. So just really needs to work on the block shooting. Uh, and, and maximizing that, but he has the ability to defend the run, make tackles against the run, man zone, or blitz. So, not really too worried about that, but just not really perfect until he's able to shut those blocks. Uh, and the miscellaneous character injuries, I don't remember seeing anything like that. Nice improvement from his sophomore year, I've heard. Uh, so, 10 there in that category as well. Uh, so, uh, while I calculate my score, I'll let you go over any disagreements or anything uh, that you might have. Or your own grades. I think you have a great eye on yourself. Yeah, I... I'm just... Looking at yours. Um... I feel like we're relatively similar in about everything. Um, just, I didn't quite give him a five on block today. I think I gave him a six or a seven. I wasn't too big on his block shedding. Either it was just I don't know I didn't think he was as bad as a five, and I think he could potentially improve. I personally, I have him at a a ninety five grade. Oh, and so I'm, you're a lot higher than me. Okay. So what else was it that made the difference for you? I just, I think where you have your nines, I gave him tens. I feel like for like athleticism, I have him at a ten. Um, I 
zone, I have him at 10. Well, my coverage sort of grouped together, and I have that as the 10. So, I feel like... Um, this is just slightly higher across the board, basically. Yeah, it's nothing, like, too different from yours. Um, it's just, I'm just slightly higher at every in every category. Cool. Or most categories. So, uh, do you see any potential face for him, especially now that we've seen his combine, his measurements, and, uh, things like that? Or is it still a little bit too early for you to talk? Um... No, I honestly I like I like him as a lot in Vegas because I mean Vegas and Detroit being my two teams, I I watched quite a few of the Oakland games last year. Um, and I think putting him behind a sort of like more of a space eater type guy like PJ Hall. And having him be able to sort of just slot into that very weak linebacker group and and start there immediately would be really cool to see. So is there any particular things that stood out to you uh, as positive or negative? You said he had his coverage at the time, right? Yeah. I... His coverage is... I, I really liked his coverage. I think... His athleticism... Is... Really good. Amazing. I... It... It showed up on tape for me, and... Also with his 40 numbers. I'm not sure what the official time was, but it was really good for a linebacker. 4-5-5, five, five, I think. It was mid-4-5, somewhere in there. Was it? I I thought I heard higher, but I'm probably wrong. It's Maybe obviously his official not... time was a little bit higher. I think his first one was like 4-5 to 4-5-5. Five, five. It was 4-5-2, now that I look at it. Yeah. So it's it's good for obviously not a four three nine like holy crap Isaiah Simmons but or a four four one like Devin Bush. Yeah. Well I have yeah. behind Devin Bush, I guess is kind of the main overarching mm-hmm. take. They're kinda of similar in some ways. Very yeah, good I... coverage guys. Rely on their athleticism, good tackling, everything. But I think I have Bush where you have Murphy. Just a little bit more versatile, a little bit better mm-hmm. pass rushing, a little bit better block string. And the biggest thing for me, too, was the play strength. With with uh, Murray, we didn't really get to see him anchor all that well. We didn't really get to see him drive. We didn't really get to see him attack and shut blocks. Whereas with Devin last year, I think he got to see a little bit more of that aggressiveness yeah. and that mean streak. So I guess that's probably the biggest thing that's holding him back a little bit for me is kind of just lacking that extra oomph and that extra play strength. Mm-hmm. Uh, and part of that will probably hopefully develop when he gets in the NFL system too. Obviously, a very athletic so he has a little bit of time and potential in growth and nutritionists, and there's a lot of tools to help him continue to develop in those areas uh, as he continues to progress through his playing career. So, an interesting comp that I want to get your opinion on. What about like a guy like Roquan Smith? That's very fair. I think I have him a lot more similar to Roquan than I did. Mm-hmm. Devin. Of course, I was really high on Devin Bush last year. I was high on Devin Bush as well. I don't think as high as you, but I think I had like a 92 or 93. I didn't do exact number grades. I changed my system this year, but I probably would have had him at like a 95 or 96 last year. Right. So similar to where I have him, right? Gotcha. Yeah. And uh, I I really do think that that's probably fair because with Roquan, you really got to see. I do think Roquan is a little bit better. I think he was kind of in between the two. I had Roquan a little bit higher than Murray and a little bit below Devin last year. But uh, 
they're they're all kind of in that same kind of mold and style. Uh, and I, I think that Murray has a little bit more upside and room to grow because you get to really identify those weaknesses a little bit more clearly. Whereas with Roquan, I think his weaknesses were a little bit more mitigated uh, and, and Georgia. And with Devin, I think he had just overall less weaknesses. So there was a little bit less upside and a little bit more of a floor. Whereas with Murray, I think you have a little bit less of a floor, but you have a little bit more of that upside because of it. So mm-hmm. it really just depends on how you value that whole aspect of it, too. So, any other thoughts before we wrap this one up? Um, I'm curious to see if you have any other fits. I gave the Raiders. Is there any other team you think you'd fit in with? Not Detroit. No. Uh, definitely not an option for us. I don't think. Partially because I, I really do think that we value that placement and that physicality a little bit more. And that EDP video. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Uh, and just the overall weight and size. Uh, but And the fact that we have a pretty set linebacking group. Mm-hmm. Uh, if we go linebacker at the first three rounds in like the first two days... It's probably going to be Isaiah Simmons, just because he's such a generational player and he can fill more than just a linebacker role. He can play a safety role for us too. Yeah. Um, so if we go linebacker early, it's probably going to be Isaiah Simmons, and he'll probably probably play some safety. So I don't think Detroit's a fit. Um, beyond that, I'm not really too too familiar with how many teams need linebackers. I guess Atlanta could be a really interesting sneak fit. Deion Jones has a little bit of an injury history. Uh, I feel like Murray plays kind of similar in terms yeah. of style. And I don't know who's next to Deion Jones. I I'm that. I'm not entirely sure either. I know they have Devondre Campbell and 4-2 looks, but I think that they're kind of similar to us in that they run 3-3 looks too. Uh, and I can't remember who their third linebacker is. That's probably um, someone obvious, I just can't remember. Yeah. But finding someone who can pair with uh, Campbell and Deion Jones and be a rotational piece, be a coverage guy, and uh, maybe there's ways to move Campbell around, maybe there's ways to move Deion around, maybe there's ways to move Murphy around so we can utilize all three guys on the field at the same time. I think that would be really interesting uh, to see play out. Just kind of random, probably not a need, but he could be... In that 15 to 20 ish type of range, I think is where you kind of start to consider him and he factors in. And then once again, like the 25 ish range, like, yeah, he's probably mm-hmm. going to be one of your best players available. Yeah, I've seen a lot of mocks to Baltimore. Ooh, okay. That would make a what? lot of sense, too. Yeah, I mean, I really I like that fit there. I don't know if. He's going to be around where they pick, but he very well could be. And if not, Baltimore can definitely could trade up for him. That's in need of theirs as a linebacker, and I think he'd be very fun in Baltimore. Sweet. So, with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this one little thing or two. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this over the course of the next coming days and weeks. Finally starting to wrap up the combine as we're recording this. Today is going to be the last day for drills. We're about to see corners in about 12 to 15 hours from now. Uh, so it should be a very fun day ahead for us in real time. Uh, but for now, hopefully you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and peace out.